morning hope you're doing really really well as you can see today i am not roughing it in a bivy bag in the wilderness i'm actually on my partner's very lovely boat so yesterday we sailed over from Salcombe in england over the sea over the channel to the channel islands specifically guernsey it was <laughs> it was horrible it was <laughs> <laughs> I was going to film some of that bit for you but I just was sick as a dog and I do find it quite amusing that what Sam finds fun um, you know how like some of the bikepacking races that I do other people would not find that fun probably not you Sam but to me that's a laugh well he's like that with sailing so anyway we're here in Guernsey we've got our bikes behind us we brought our gravel bikes but I don't think there's a lot of gravel but nonetheless we're going to head out on a ride explore the island there's some beautiful um sea pools that they've made for swimming so definitely having a dip in those and check out some of the beaches also i wanted to tell you a bit more about my plans for the rest of the year that are really coming together right now so that's exciting and yeah just come along with me for the day if you fancy <coughs> It is lovely and flat! It is so nice, eh? I had no idea that it's so nice here. Mind you, Sam always laughs at me because everywhere we go, I'm like, this is the best place ever! And around the corner is Another lovely beach. Well, we've got no great plan. We're just kind of meandering our way anti-clockwise around the island because kind Alexander on Instagram, who lives here or used to live here, suggested that that's the way to do it. So we're just kind of following our nose. The island's quite small, really, so you can't get too lost, although there are a few little dog legs and stuff where you have to just turn around and go back. But it's so damn pretty, you just don't care. I mean, this beach that we're at now, I don't know what it's called. Do you know where we are, Sam? Oh, thank you. I think we're somewhere around there. Pembroke, which is so, so, so nice. Um, and we're just going to carry on then stop somewhere eat our sandwiches. We're like a proper old couple. We've got sandwiches in our bar bags and we're just pottering along, not making very much effort to get anywhere very fast at all. It is thoroughly enjoyable. It's really windswept and totally empty around here on the west coast. And I'm certainly not antisocial, but I really like places where no one else is. I mean, yeah, there's a few tourists and stuff, but it's so quiet and peaceful. It reminds me of parts of Brittany that I rode last year with Nikki. Just loved the bits where no one else was. And it's just wild and a bit grey. I like it. Ooh, yeah. I palmed Sam off with the sandwiches from the bar bag and bought myself a crab sandwich. He doesn't eat crab, I might say. I'm not just being mean. I think we found one of Guernsey's very few hills. We've done 30 kilometres and only 159 metres of climbing. Amazing. Back home in Devon, I can do a thousand metres of climbing in 30k. I mean, it's savage. Mind you, maybe there's some hills around the other side of the island. Not been there yet. I'm just surprised by this hill. I told you, they, they're near the edge on the west side, just down to the see them back but the I thought that was flat. the west side where are we going that's it. That's what are we doing who are they that's the east side. oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. so on our way back to um st peter's port we're following a lot of the rouette tronqueuse which are the suggested kind of quiet routes for pedestrians cyclists and horses and it adds a few little 
hills I guess nothing major though and it's not a direct route but all the lovelier for it we're just kind of winding our way through these lovely little lanes past gorgeous houses can't see the coast from here but it's just super chill and nice it'd be really nice for cycling with the kids I think wow so pretty gorgeous it's so steep there's me saying there's no hills <laughs> right when I'm filming uh which way now well that was fun we're gonna go straight for a beer I've got a few things that I want to tell you about cycling in Guernsey and also I've yet to fill you in on my plans for the rest of the year so let's do that May Med our favorite beer stop is closed let's go somewhere else Hello! Full disclosure, it's now the day after because after having a nice beer at the end of the ride, well, then I wanted another nice beer and didn't want to do any more filming, so that's what we did. We went and had some Thai food at this nice little place overlooking St. Peter's Port, which was, yeah, definitely recommend that. It was really, really good. Anyway, um, whilst riding yesterday, uh, there were a few things that I wanted to share with you, a few tips I had in case you wanted to come to Guernsey yourself, because I really loved it, so I'd encourage you to do so. It's not a massive island, so if you're looking to do back to back super long rides you're going to be repeating stuff I suppose although having said that we didn't go much through the interior of the island so I guess there's that to explore as well the route that we did was about 45 kilometers it took us two hours 20 not including the stops um, it wasn't completely direct there are a couple of sections we possibly could have gone closer to the coast uh, and then somewhere we went down to look at a fort and then immediately turn back round again but about 45k and uh, the roads are very very good actually really nice traffic wasn't bad at all and we particularly enjoyed riding on some of the Rouette Tronquille which are these um, signposted routes designed for walkers cyclists and horse riders and on those uh, the speed limit is 15 kilometers an hour so yeah actually that's probably way slower than we were going oops but anyway they're very nice um so check out the Rouette Tronquille if you're looking for something very chilled there's an app that you can download that has them listed and um I think there's about 11 designated routes that they publicize here on the Rouette Tronquille 10 of which are circular but I mean they're short really short like 10 kilometers short I guess if I was with the kids that's when I would be doing a 10 kilometer ride. I just keep glancing down because I've got some notes here. Um, oh yeah, so driving and cycling in Guernsey is a bit different to cycling on the mainland um, in terms of traffic. So we got slightly confused because there are a lot of signs written on the on the road that say filter and we get to a junk at junction and not know who had priority and who was meant to go first. So we sort of fanny around and not really know what to do. Um, I didn't particularly like that, but um, the filter idea is just that you sort of take it in turns and no one's got priority. Um, but yeah, as I say, don't particularly like that on a bike because you you always feel like you don't have priority so you fanny around letting everyone else go and then you're in the way and it's just a bit annoying places to eat and drink there's a lot of kiosks around and the kiosks are like nice kind of beachy cafe things pretty straightforward so i'd say basic they were nice um but you can get really good ice cream they do crab sandwiches they're not really expensive yay having come from Solcombe, i can tell you that's a relief the crab sandwich that i had yesterday at the kiosk was five pounds they were selling them for 19 in Solcombe. Obviously, I didn't have one. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend checking out some of the kiosks. I could put a link to the one that we went to if you want to know, let me know, because uh, that was really, really nice. Uh, what else? Oh, yes. So the terrain. Didn't find a huge amount of gravel, but we did find some around the north coast, and that was pretty nice. But not huge bits that you can link together. And... Um, I may be missing some maybe I need to go out and explore a bit more but we didn't find a lot of that yesterday we found that the north and west coast were quite flat which was nice it meant there was a lot of wind but there weren't a lot of hills um, I quite enjoyed that nice views you're quite close to the coast there um, on the north oh, no sorry on the south end of the island there are a lot more hills and little lanes it's quite nice um, 
but the main road doesn't run next to the sea so if you want to go down to Little Coves you're going up and down hills and then when you get back to St Peter's Port there's a, a really big hill if you're going clockwise around the island that's the first thing you will go up anyway I think that's it for Guernsey tips uh, let me move on to the other thing I wanted to tell you about which was my plans for the rest of the year I've got so many cool exciting things to do sadly it looks like Nepal is not going to happen I was really looking forward to that one but um, I'm being moonied here. Where was I? Christ. What was I trying to tell you? Oh yeah, what I'm doing the rest of the summer and stuff. Um, so later in August, I'm heading out to Morzine to France and I'm gonna be riding a couple of days uh, mountain biking on the uplift. Well, you know, the chairlifts they've got there running downhill. So that's gonna be mega. And then I am gonna be doing a road cycling week with Treacle Velo over there as well. Following that, I'm flying to Mallorca. Obviously, I'm going to be doing some fun stuff there. The family will be with me, which is awesome. And I'm also going to do some climbs. I've never done proper road cycling in Mallorca, so I'm very excited. Then in September, I am going to do Istraland, which is a bikepacking um, event that's taking place um, in Istraland, which I think is Croatia. You'd think I'd know seeing them going there. Well, it's all across the Istrian Peninsula, would you know? I'm also going to be heading out to Madrid with Ruby, doing some stuff with them, going mountain biking again, but this time in Switzerland with Swiss, the Swiss Tourist Board. And then the big one, the mega big one, is um, I'm going to be racing across Andes in Patagonia in November. So super, super excited. Um, I think I'm going to be racing that one solo. So I've never done a big multi-day solo bikepacking race before. Um, but I feel like I'm so, I've sort of worked my way up to it with the you know previous races and things that I've done. So yeah, I was meant to be doing it with Juliana, but she can't make it. So it's just me all by myself, but I'm still pretty excited. Anyway, I think you're up to date. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on that ride. Let me know any questions you've got about my future plans or Guernsey or anything in general really. Do you want to see around the boat? Maybe I could show you around the boat. Um, yeah, hope you're doing well. Speak to you soon. Bye.